everyone today we are going to continue with our book club uh, on the fundamentals of diagnostic radiology with the chapter two chapters today on the pancreas and spleen pharynx and esophagus presented by your colleague dr rehan she may start thank you good morning Uh, first, I will talk about pancreas. Pancreas is a tongue-shaped organ, approximately 12 to 15 centimeter in length. It's located in anterior pararenal area, uh, posterior to left lobe of liver, posterior to stomach, anterior to uh, spine, uh, aorta, and inferior vena cava. In the more cephalic uh, section, we have here neck, body, and tail, uh, and more caudal image. Uh, the head of pancreas and ancient process will appear. Here we have uh, superior mesenteric artery and superior mesenteric uh, vein, uh, which is uh, to, uh, vein is uh, right to the artery, and the artery is uh, surrounded by clear zone of fat. The maximum dimension of pancreas size are three centim diameter for the head, two and a half for the body, and three uh, centimeter diameter and two of for the tail. yes, two for the tail. Uh, on ultrasound and thin, thin section CT, we can see pancreatic duct that's uh, normally measure three to four millim diameter in the head and tapers smoothly toward the tail. Uh, here we have ERCP, the main pancreatic duct that's uh, drained through duct of wound so and we uh, to the uh, minor, uh, sorry, major papillae, and we have accessory uh, duct, Sant duct of Santorin. Uh, here we have MRCP, the main pancreatic duct. Uh, also, we have uh, CBD here. They are drained together. Uh, this is duodenum, and the patient have uh, cholecystectomy. Pancreatitis, acute pancreatitis is generally diagnosed clinically. Imaging study of acute pancreatitis may be normal in mild cases. Contrast enhanced multi-detector CT provide the most comprehensive initial assessment. However, ultrasound is useful for follow-up of specific abnormalities such as fluid collection. The abnormality that can be seen in acute pancreatitis include uh, the focal or diffuse pancreatic enlargement, change in the density due to edema, and indistinct of margin due to inflammation. Abnormality in prepancreatic tissue includes stranding densities in the fat that indistinct of the fat planes and thickening of affected facial planes. Uh, these are some examples of uh, complication of acute pancreatitis. Uh, here we have uh, uh, contra CT, CT axial image show uh, only a small portion of pancreas uh, is enhanced take uh, contrast while the majority of uh, of it it's not taking uh, contrast that's necrotizing fasciitis also so sorry uh, necrotizing pancreatitis associated also with fluid collection uh, here we have another complication uh, uh, of fluid collection in the left lobe of uh, liver and peritoneal and in the spleen. Your right? uh, I don't know. They are described uh, separately, pseudocyst and yeah. fluid collection. Uh, here we have also... Uh, also, we have here uh, pancreatic abscess. Uh, here we have air and fluid in the pancreas. The air in the pancreas, either it's due to uh, pancreatic abscess or fistula with bowel. Pancreatic divism. Normally, pancreas, uh, we have main pancreatic duct that uh, drain to the uh, major papillae with CBD and small part drained through, uh, through duct of Santorini to the minor papillae which is proximal to the major papillae. 
when we have when we have pancreatic dysfunction, uh, the ventral and dorsal duct system of pancreas fail to fuse. So the major portion of the pancreas secretion from body and the tail drain through dorsal pancreatic duct uh, Santorini into minor papillae, whereas uh, minor portion of pancreatic secretion from the head and ancient process drain into duodenum through major papillae in association with CBD. Uh, these pictures are of pancreatic divism in uh, uh, MRCP we can see dilated uh, main pancreatic duct with its branch and uh, drained uh, separately from the CBD the CBD bypassed uh, the main pancreatic duct yes uh, uh, also we have here uh, the main pancreatic duct uh, it uh, drained to minor uh, duct proximally and uh, the CBD bypass it and uh, drained uh, more caudally. Chronic pancreatitis, uh, the most common cause of chronic pancreatitis are alcohol and uh, gallstone. Uh, radiologically, we can see dilatation of pancreatic duct, 70 to 90%, which appear as a beaded appearance. Uh, we have uh, dilatation and construction. Decrease in visible pancreatic tissue due to atrophy. We have calcification. Fluid collection either intrapancreatic or extrapancreatic. Uh, focal mass-like enlargement of pancreas. Structure of biliary duct and facial thickening. Autoimmune pancreatitis. Uh, we should uh, I mean, differentiate it from other type of pancreatitis. Uh, first, we have either diffuse or focal swelling of pancreas with characteristic tight hollow of edema. It's just tight hollow. We don't have extensive prepancreatic stranding or edema. Uh, diffuse or segmental narrowing of pancreatic duct or the CBD. Absent of dilatation of pancreatic duct. Cedosis uh, and calcification are absent. And it's not involved blood vessels. Uh, kidney is involved in one third of cases. Uh, in uh, shape of which uh, uh, defect enhancing. Uh, also, serum IG4 is often elevated. Groove pancreatitis is uncommon type of chronic pancreatitis. That's inflammation between head of pancreas, duodenum, and CBD. Radiologically, it appears she sheet like mass in pancreatoduodenal groove, atrophy and fibrotic change in pancreatic head, small cysts along the wall of duodenum. Duodenal wall thickening and luminal narrowing, tapering stenosis of CBD and pancreatic duct, uh, and also we have widening of the space between distal duct and the wall of duodenum. This is rarely seen in adenocarcinoma because it's occupied by the mass. Solid lesion of the pancreas, pancreatic adenocarcinoma. Uh, adenocarcinoma appears as a hypodense mass distorting the contour of the gland associated with obstruction of the bile duct and pancreatic duct, double duct sign, atrophy of pancreatic tissue beyond the tumor, metastasis commonly to original lymph node, liver, and peritoneal cavity. Here we have uh, mass, <coughs> central necrosis, and uh, also gases uh, appear in the center of the mass. Uh, the superior mesenteric artery and superior mesenteric uh, vein uh, it seems to be not, be not involved in the mass so the mass is resectable signs of resectability include uh, isolated pancreatic mass with or without dilatation of bile or pancreatic duct no extra pancreatic tissue no extra pancreatic uh, disease or no encasement of vessels potential resectability include uh, absence of vessel involvement, regional lymph node may be involved, limited prepancreatic extension. Signs of unresectability include encasement of celiac and superior mesenteric artery, occlusion of superior mesenteric vein without technical option for reconstruction, and uh, if you have metastasis to liver, lung, and peritoneal. So Here we have the main thing we need to focus on metastasis, vessel invasion. Encasement, yes. If there is vessel invasion, or metastasis? Unacceptable. Uh, here we have uh, celiac uh, trunk uh, is involved and it is branch involved in case it by the pancreatic mass. It's unacceptable. Arterial encasement, uh, uh, evidence of it, 
uh, if the tumor abutting greater than 180 of the circumference of artery or if we have focally abutment causing narrowing of artery or occlusion of the artery by the tumor chronic pancreatitis uh, as I said uh, beaded dilatation of pancreatic duct is characteristic while uh, smooth duct dilatation is most frequent with carcinoma calcification within mass are common within uh, with chronic pancreatitis and are very rare with adenocarcinoma although adenocarcinoma can be arise in a background of chronic pancreatitis in 50 percent and uh, we have isolated tumor uh, also they are frequently calcified as a cell tumor, we have uh, many types insulinoma, gastrinoma, glucanoma, somatostinoma, vigoma. We have either functioning or non functioning. Functioning uh, tumor. Functioning tumor, very in malignant, very in malignant potential from 10% to insulinoma. 60% for gastrinoma and 80% for glucagonoma. They are small, less than 3 cm, and uh, it is difficult to be uh, identified in pre contrast study. Here we have a contrast study CT. Uh, we can see enhanced, avidly enhancing mass, uh, mostly uh, isolated tumor because uh, pancreatic adenocarcinoma are. Uh, non uh, vascular and delay enhancing so when you have mass that enhances on arterial phase c the pancreatic mass right. you don't think of adenocarcinoma you yes. think of iron cell tumor or metastasis or from metastasis. Uh, okay because yes. pancreatic adenocarcinoma are delay de delay and enhancing that will be hypovascular and delay enhancement so yes yes uh, up to 80 percent of non-functioning tumor are malignant they are larger Coarse calcification, cystic degeneration, necrosis, and vascular invasion and metastasis. Here uh, we can see heterogeneous mass with calcification. On MRI, they are low in T1, uh, high in T2, heterogeneous and heterogeneous enhancing, as is uh, shown in this picture. So you are afraid more of the non functioning more than the. Yes, because they have potential malignancy. They are smaller. You can be non-malignant while large, uh, the functions are larger and presented and with the metastasis. Malignant. Yes, and because they are large. Metastasis to pancreas are most frequent with renal carcinoma or bronchogenic carcinoma. Uh, here we can see uh, again epithelial enhancing mass with a necrotic uh, center. So either it is uh, isolated or metastasis from hypervascular organ. Fatty lesion of the pancreas, either we have diffuse infiltration. Uh, diffuse infiltration will appear uh, as like a feathery uh, appearance because uh, the pancreas uh, is encapsulated. Uh, yes, or focal fat sparing, focal fat infiltration that mimic pancreatic mass, lipomas are rare, uh, appear as solitary fat density mass. Cystic fibrosis. Uh, either we have fat infiltration of the pancreas or we have pancreatic uh, uh, cystosis that's uh, multiple cysts of varying size distributed throughout pancreas or we have uh, sometimes presented with acute pancreatitis and calcification of pancreas cystic lesion of pancreas we have cystosis representing 85 to 90 percent of cystic lesion it will appear either fluid density unilocular cyst or complex cyst and they are round oval within or thick wall that enhance although the content of the cyst will not enhance septation and lipidation are unusual mostly seen with cyst adenoma and uh, on serial imaging we can see involution of the lesion pancreatic abscess uh, it's, it's indistinct wall contain fluid debris and uh, gas Serous cyst adenoma are benign tumor, do not require treatment. Mostly occur in women after 60 years, distributed uh, uniformly, associated one with uh, von Hippel-Linda disease. Either it will appear as uh, honeycomb microcyst, which uh, is more common type. Uh, we have a small, uh, numerous cyst uh, that is not communicated with pancreatic duct, or a macrocyst uh, occupying 10%, or we have uh, tiny cysts that they make lesion solid. Yes, Central. So small, they, the lesion looks 
solid, but it's not. It's yeah, because it's multiple small, small things. Yes. Central satellite scar uh, that may classify as highly diagnostic feature and the lesion to not communicate with pancreatic duct. Mucinous, uh, they occur more commonly in the tail and they are uh, uh, have a malignant potential so uh, should be resected. Imaging file uh, show macrosis region more than 2 cm uh, in the pancreatic tail that's unilocular or multilocular with few compartments. Uh, peripheral extra calcification is uncommonly but specific finding. Uh, here we have also uh, pancreatic meta uh, sorry, so liver metastasis with cystic. Extra calcification in the pancreas equals mucinous, so mucinous cyst adenoma. Cyst adenoma. Central Still scar with serous. Still it's scar with serous. Okay. Uh, Intraductal papillary mucinous neoplasm uh, that's also have a malignant potential. Uh, we have either the main duct is involved here we can see the main duct is enlarged or we have a branch uh, type that's appear as multiple uh, cystic uh, mul or multiloculated cyst the malignant potential for the main duct is 65 percent while in the branched uh, duct only 50 percent 15 yes uh, feature that suggest the presence of carcinoma include if you have dilatation of main pancreatic duct more than 7 to 15 millimeter or multiple mural nodule three, um, uh, greater than 3 to no, uh, 10 millimeter in size tumor greater to six, uh, 2 to 6 centim calcified intramural content uh, associated dilatation of CBD and if you have uh, lymph node pancreatic lymph node Cyplin. The average cyplin dimension in adult are 12 cm in length, 7 cm in width, and 3 to 4 cm in thickness. Uh, in older adults, the cyplin progressively decreases in size and with age, and uh, we should know about the cyplinic arteries. They are end arteries without anastomos anastomosis or collateral supply. Uh, during in a uh, uh, contrast study of cyplin, in arterial phase, we uh, see uh, cyplin as uh, non heterogeneous uh, of uh, heterogeneous enhancing uh, will uh, become homogeneous on delay that's uh, cause transient pseudo mass one to two minutes after that the entire cyplin become homogeneously enhancing Location and cleft of cyplin contour are common and must not uh, mistaken for masses or cyplinic fracture Accessory cyplin, 10 to 16 percent of normal individual occupy, appear round masses, 1 to 3 centim, same texture of cyplin, single or multiple, and uh, mostly near uh, cyplinic hilum. One direct cyplin, the diagnosis is made by recognizing of normal shape and text, uh, uh, tissue texture of the cyplin. Noting the absence of normal cyplin in left upper abdomen and uh, identifying the blood supply from cyplinic vessels. Here we cannot see cyplin's position. Cyplinosis refers to multiple implants of ectopic cyplinic tissue that may occur after traumatic cyplinic rupture. The cyplin implants are usually multiple and vary in size and shape. And sometimes uh, they miss the as. Uh, uh, peritoneal metastasis. Cyplinic regeneration. After cyplinectomy, the remaining accessory cyplin or cyplinoyol resulting from traumatic peritoneal seeding of cyplinic tissue may enlarge. Disappearance of whole jolly body from peripheral vessels is a sign for cyplinic regeneration. Either it will appear single or multiple cyplinic like masses in the abdominal cavity with history of cyplinectomy. After we do a cyclinectomy for a patient, peripheral red blood cells will show something called whole jewelry bodies. If they disappear, it means there is cyclinic regeneration. Yes. Okay? And amazingly, I've seen some cases where the cyclinic regeneration is so marked. You see that spleen is back. The spleen is normal mm -hmm. size, normal shape, even normal location. And the patient swears I had a splenectomy. The surgeon says I removed the spleen by my hand. It's just a generating spleen. 
polysiplinia is a congenital anomaly that refers to multiple spleen located in the right abdomen associated with situs ambiguous and both length are two lobed. Asiplenia uh, is a congenital abscess of spleen associated with bilateral right sideness, midline uh, liver, and bilat uh, major cardiac anomaly are present in 50% of the cases, and most cases die within first year. So, polysplenia is worse than, uh, sorry, asiplenia is, is worse, worse than polysplenia. Yes. Spleno megaly, uh, we have many causes of spleno megaly. Radiologically, we can uh, see the spleen dimension greater than 40 centim or projection of spleen ventral to anterior axillary line or inferior part of uh, spleen extending more caudally to the uh, inferior border of left kidney or more inferior than uh, liver inferior border of the liver solid lesion of the spleen we have lymphoma spleen is commonly involved by uh, lymphoma and uh, Mostly will appear uh, imaging are normal, uh, and sometimes will uh, there will be diffuse enlargement of spleen or uh, single mass or multiple mass or micro abscess, and uh, we have also adenopathy in the abdomen. Lymphoma is a common predisposing condition for splenic infarction. Metastasis most uh, common metastasis tumor metastasis to spleen are malignant melanoma, lung, ovary appear as single or multiple low density masses on MRI they are low in T1, high in T2 calcification is rare Melanomic, uh, melanoma metastasis commonly appear as cystic infarction and the key finding is extension of uh, abnormal parenchymal zone to intact splenic capsule gamma uh, candy bodies Cidriotic nodule, small hemorrhage in the spleen caused by portal hypertension and resulting in a foci of hemosiderin deposition that appear low in all signal MRI and they do not enhance on a benign nodule. Hemangioma, ultrasound show a well-defined hyperechoic uh, mass on CT they appear solid and may have central or peripheral calcification on MRI low in T1 high in T2 when enhancement is variable and nodular enhancement from periphery described to, from prefer, uh, described for liver hemangioma is not seen with splenic hemangioma angiosarcoma are rare although they are the most common malignant arising in the spleen uh, appear multiple well defined enhancing nodule or diffuse spleen abnormality Cystic lesion of the spleen, uh, spleen. We have post-traumatic cyst. They are true. Uh, sorry, false cyst. They are lack of epithelial lining. Uh, they have thick wall septation and commonly calcify. Uh, they occupy about 80 percent of all splenic cysts. Epidermoid cyst. They are true epithelia. Uh, they have same appearance as post-traumatic cyst, but less frequently have calcification in their wall pancreatic acidocyst i think we talked about this yep. Panc uh, bacterial abscess in the spleen they most commonly uh, uh, occur most commonly in spleen that are already diseased they appear either single or multiple l defined thick wall with internal echo and ultrasound uh, they may contain gas or air fluid level. Perisplenic fluid collection and uh, pleural effusion are common. It's only pancreatic infarction or injury complicated by hemorrhage and then complicates by abscess formation. The usual story. Microabscess, uh, they occur in a patient with immunocompromised system, either fungal, TB, pneumocystic, arena, histoplasmosis. They appear multiple small defect in the spleen, uh, average in size from 5 to 20 mm. High that is just uh, only 2% of the patient. They occur uh, if the other organ also involved. Uh, we have spherical mother cyst with contain smaller daughter cyst that have internal septation and debris. Uh, and uh, rig line enhancement are uh, seen in chronic stage. Ring like calcification. 
in chronic stage. It in the spleen. Uh, spleen normally associated with generalized lymphoid hyperplasia is the most common finding in patient with S. We have also focal lesion in opportunistic infection. Uh, Nemocystic carini can cause multiple splenic calcification. Uh, is associated lymphoma and capoid sarcoma also cause single or multiple solid lesion in the spleen. Uh, second chapter is about pharynx and esophagus. Nasopharynx extend from the skull to the soft palate. Oropharynx from uh, oral cavity to uh, from soft palate to the hyoid bone, and hypopharynx from uh, hyoid bone to the cricopharyngeal muscle. Valvuli are two symmetrical pouch form in the recess between base of the tongue and the epiglottis. Uh, piriform sinuses are deep symmetrical lateral races formed by protrusion of larynx into hypopharynx. Normal extre uh, extrinsic impression on esophagus are made by aortic arch, left main bronchus, and left atrium. We have a multiple regular transverse fold, one millimeter thick, result from contraction of longitudinal fiber in muscularis mucosa. It's called feline. Esophagus. It's normal in the cat, while in human, it's an early sign of dysmotility or esophagitis. Feeling any cat like, like something related to the cats. Okay. Uh, it looks like the cat's esophagus transversely uh, cut off. Okay? Mm. But this indicates dysmotility disorder. In humans. Uh, esophagus, the circular termination uh, is called esophageal vestibule. The tubulo, vestibular junction uh, is formed by asymmetrical muscular ring called uh, a, a, ring. Uh, a ring. The B ring is uh, an asymmetrical mucosal ring or notch that occurs at the junction of esophageal sequimous epithelium with gastric columnar epithelium. This sequimous uh, Columnar junction is also marked by the Z line. Motility disorder. Signs of pharyngeal dysfunction. Uh, first, we have pharyngeal st stasis. It's indicated of impaired pharyngeal transport, it's seen as increased residual volume of swallowed material filling the valvuli and piriform sinuses. Laryngeal penetration is defined as entry of barium into laryngeal vestibule without passing below the vocal cord. Here, if we have just uh, uh, to this level, it's uh, laryngeal penetration. Uh, aspiration implies barium passage below the vocal cord, as we can see here in the trachea. So it's just aspiration here. Yes. After vocal cord, aspiration. Cricopharyngeal achalasia. It's a failure of complete relaxation of upper esophageal sphincter. It will appear as shell-like impression. On the barium column, uh, the pharyngeoesophageal junction at the level of C5, C6, the pharynx is distended, and the barium might follow into larynx and trachea. Achalasia of the esophagus is a disease of unknown etiology uh, characterized by abscess of peristalsis, marked increase in resting pressure, and failure of lower esophageal sphincter to relax. That's the result in failure of esophagus to empty. Radiologically, we can see a uniform dilatation of esophagus with air fluid level, absence of precises with tertiary wave uh, common in early stage, uh, and lastly we have peak deformity of lower esophageal sphincter, and uh, there is increased incidence of epiphrenic diverticulum and esophageal carcinoma. Carcinoma of gastroesophageal uh, junction may mimic achalasia, that's causing secondary achalasia, uh, differentiated from primary achalasia, it's longer, and irregular. Diffuse esophageal spasm, that's the primary peristalsis is not present, it's replaced by tertiary contraction, uh, appear like corkscrew appearance. On CT, we can see circumferential thickening of the wall, uh, distal 5 cm of the esophagus in 20% of the patient. Cicleroderma usually aged 20 to 40 years uh, at the onset of the disease. Esophagus is affected in 75 to 80 percent. We have weak or absent peristalsis in distal two thirds. That's uh, involved smooth muscle. Delay in emptying uh, esophagus, stiff dilated esophagus, and we have wide 
gapping uh, lower esophageal sphincter with free esophageal reflex. We can see here it is uh, so the lower white is associated with stricture and ulcer here. Gastroesophageal reflex uh, uh, either is hiatus hernia and we can see a shortening of esophagus, impaired esophageal motility, uh, and uh, gastroesophageal reflex often demonstrated by propagative maneuvers such as valsalva, leg rising, and cuff. Prolonged clearance time of reflex gas, uh, of reflexed gastric content. Hiatus hernia is often synonymous with jerk. Most patients with hiatus hernia do not have jerk. Hiatus hernia therefore is not likely as a primary cause of jerk. However, 90% of patients with jerk they have hiatus hernia. The simplest definition is the protrusion of any portion of stomach into thorax. They are of three types. The most common type is sliding hiatus hernia. That's the gastroesophageal reflex with the stomach. They are herniated above. Uh, and there is whitening of uh, esophageal hiatus normally is 15 millimeter. The less common type is paraesophageal uh, hiatus hernia that the jun uh, junction is below just part of the stomach is herniated. And we have a mixed type or compound hernia. Outpouching, we have a later lateral pharyngeal diverticulum are protrusion of pharyngeal mucosa through area of weakness of lateral pharyngeal wall most common in the region of tonsil force and thyroid membrane thyroid membrane zenker diverticulum arise in a hypopharynx just proximal to upper esophageal sphincter is located posterior midline in uh, the cleavage called uh, Killian dehiscent and uh, what uh, it's important to know about this is uh, had small neck so higher than a sac resulting in food and fluid being trapped within the sac. Neck high will sac close, yes. but food will go into the mm. sac. And trapped, yes. Clearly in the Jameson's diverticulum, it's less common, smaller, wide neck, uh, and less likely to cause symptom and less likely to cause jerk. Mid esophageal diverticulum, Maybe pulsion diverticulum or traction diverticulum that's occur due to fibrosis uh, or inflammatory process. They are uh, have large mouth, uh, empty wall, and they are usually asymptomatic. Either something pushing them from inside or, or traction. Them from outside. Yeah, pulsion yeah, traction. Epiphrenic diverticulum usually uh, occur just above lower esophageal sphincter, usually on right side. Uh, they are associated with esophageal dysmotor disorder. Uh, slow, uh, small neck. Uh, also, they have a uh, higher rate to that fluid and uh, liquid trap within it. <coughs> Circulation. Uh, they are small outpatching of esophagus that occur as equally of severe esophagitis. Intramural uh, di pseudodiverticuli. They are a pure flask shaped barium collection that extend from lumen or as a line and uh, flex of barium outside the esophageal wall. Uh, esophagitis uh, have many radiological features. Uh, either we can see thickening of esophagus, uh, uh, fault, uh, esophageal fault, uh, distance, uh, impaired, uh, limited distensibility, abnormal motility, uh, nodule plaque, ulceration, uh, uh, reflex esophagitis. We can see it uh, radiologically granular or nodular pattern, and also. Uh, ulcer are discrete uh, linear or punctured collection of barium usually surrounded by radiolucent mount of edema. Barrett uh, esophagitis. Uh, what's important about Barrett esophagitis is a pre-malignant uh, and occur in a high mid esophageal structure or deep uh, associated with deep ulcer, reticular pattern. Infectious uh, Esophagitis. So due to reflux of gastric content yes. acid into the esophagus, chronic reflux, reflux, mm. reflux, the esophageal epithelium uh, 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 will change, change into mm -hmm. columnar. Yes. Okay? This is a pre -maricant. So virus esophagus need to be treated. Mm. Very gastroesophageal reflux can be medically nothing mm. se serious, but virus esophagus is a pre needs treatment. Mm. So infectious uh, 
candidate applicants, uh, we can uh, present with flags uh, that appear longitudinally oriented, linear or regular, irregular, uh, discrete linear uh, filling defect. Uh, also, we may present with ulcer, that's a small shallow ulcer, and sometimes uh, will uh, esophagus will appear as foamy uh, esophagus pattern with tiny bubbles at the top of the barium colon. Herpex uh, simplex, discrete ulcer on background of normal mucosa involving mid esophagus are most characteristic of herpes. Nodule and plaques are all usually absent. Cytomegalovirus with uh, AIDS, they cause giant ulcer. As we can see here, it's a big ulcer. Tuberculosis is uh, esophagus is less common portion of I GIT to be involved by TB. Manifestation either ulcer structure and abscess. Here we have abscess formation. Drug induced esophagitis is like uh, herpes. Corrosive ingestion, alkaline cause deep ul uh, ulcer, while acid is more superficial. Corrosive ingestion is one of two. Yeah, totally akhidi. Yeah, a child ingested something. Yeah, someone who wants to commit suicide. Okay. Uh, Crohn's disease rarely uh, occur in esophagus. Uh, the bowel should be involved. Radiation. Basic Crohn's disease overnight labyrinth. Lazum, the bowel involved. Everything uh, full grown in the Crohn's. Radiation esophagitis. Uh, acu acute radiation may cause shallow or deep ulcer in the area of involvement and may cause long, smooth structure. We have uh, esophageal structure. We have benign structure that's smoothly tapered concentric narrowing or malignant structure that's abrupt asymmetrical eccentric narrowing and irregular with nodular mucosa. Uh, Esophagitis, uh, I talked about this. Uh, we have long segment structure may induce by long term NG tube. Usually in the mid esophagus, mid -esophagus yes. You expect it to be in the lower, but it's not, it's in the mid esophagus. Mm -hmm. Okay. Corrosive mm -hmm. structures structure are long symmetrical. Long, I mean, with the NG tube, long yes. structures. Uh, alkaline reflex esophagitis occur in a patient who undergo partial or total gastrectomy. And by the way, alkaline is worse than. Yes, that's it. Yeah. Perform pancreatic. Isonophilic esophagitis. Uh, it occurs in a young man with history of allergy and isonophilia. Uh, long, smooth, long segment and narrowing of esophagus as a series of ringed structure called ringed esophagus. Radiation structure is confined to radiotherapy field. Occur in upper or mid. Neoplasm of uh, esophagus. We have. Uh, a regular isolated circumferential narrowing. Okay. Uh, it's called shouldering type. Shouldering. Yes. Like, like an upper core lesion will cause. Shouldering. Uh, and the long segment structure caused by carcinoma are common. No. Uh, the mucosa may be not altered. Because of lack of cirrhosis, it represents pressure. Mm -hmm. My mm -hmm. have no cirrhosis. Web are thin, one to two millim. A delicate membrane that uh, sweep partially across the lumen occur in pharynx or esophagus and the pharynx are anteriorly and esophagus are occurring anywhere. In large esophageal fold, uh, either due to esophagitis uh, or we have varices, they appear as epigenous filling defect, Very varying in size. You have uphill and downhill. We have uphill that occur to Excellent. portal hypertension. Occur in distal while uh, downhill varices uh, due to obstruction of superior vena cava occur in proximal part. The MR, the SBC mesdul, tends in MR, the SBC mesdul, tends in the MR, the IBC mesdul, the portal vena, the side Mass lesion filling defect, we have uh, pharyngeal carcinoma, uh, either it will appear as intraluminal mass, mucosal irregularity, or asymmetry distensibility, and they are squamous cell carcinoma. Pharyngeal retention cysts, they are benign lesion, typically involve follicular and should not be mistaken for pharyngeal neoplasm. Esophageal carcinoma uh, have four patterns, either annular constricting lesion, the most common type, or polypoidal like this one, 
or infiltrated uh, type or uh, the least common type is ulcerated mass. On ultrasound and CT, we have a regular thickening of uh, wall, eccentric, uh, eccentric narrowing of lumen, dilatation of esophagus above the, uh, above the narrowing, and invasion to surrounding. Here we have uh, asymmetry uh, esophageal wall thickening with a carinal leaf knot and extension to the aorta. Obliteration of fat between aorta and uh, esophagus is an predictive of invasion of aorta. PET seat is used for just for follow up. Sometimes here is stoma of chronic stoma yeah, no, no. or, or esophageal lymphoma is a neoplasm in the esophagus. Uh, esophagus wall is eccentrically thickened. Yep. Yes. Uh, polyp. Uh, it no, appears. There are polyps in the esophagus. Duplication is uh, causing uh, uh, as uh, extrinsic or intramural compression on barium. Aberrant right subclavian artery, it uh, appears so as upward slanting point. linear filling defect on posterior aspect of esophagus. Nice. Esophageal perforation uh, and trauma, either we have uh, subcutaneous emphysema, pleural effusion, pneumothorax, or extravasation of contrast, or perhaps uh, syndrome. It is a wall, uh, uh, rupture. esophageal wall is ruptured, and uh, all Two. type One. repeated Two. vomiting. Vomiting, severe vomiting, vomiting, forceful. Yes, uh, it's, uh, the tear is in left posterior wall. Mallory with, uh, with tear, it's only mucosa and not full thickness of uh, so esophagus involved. Yes, yes, due to repeated uh, vomiting. Uh, foreign body impaction. Uh, here we have uh, foreign body impacted in the esophagus and uh, uh, here we have structure. Perforation no. occurs on only 1% of the cases. In our uh, region of the world, common foreign uh, food that they have, like the German, common wheat, commonly uh, impact. As I say, more than the general class and up with common wheat, well, in our uh, region. Perforation occurs in only 1% of the cases. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Very much.